Welcome to Electron Line. Here we're starting a new section on mechanical engineering with cables and forces on cables. There are four different situations that we're going to be dealing with. The first one is where we have concentrated loads. We have a cable attached between two support points and just a few places where there's a load suspended from the cable. That causes the cable to have specific sections which are essentially straight and the forces between each of the sections will be different or the tension in the cable on each of the sections will be different. We have situations where we have a cable where there's many more forces attached to the cable or suspended from the cable. Then we call that a uniformly or in this case a non-uniformly distributed cable. The reason why it's non-uniform is because the the magnitude of the forces changes along the cable but there's many attached points to the cable so instead of just a few there is many therefore it's this therefore it's distributed it's what we call a distributed load but it's non-uniform because of the forces are not the same because of that the shape of the cable will not be parabolic the third case is where the forces are uniform meaning the forces are all the same magnitude because of that the cable will have a parabolic shape this is typical where we have cables supporting bridge section like this or bridges and the weight distribution of the bridge is uniform therefore the forces on the cable are uniform if the bridge sections do not have uniform weight then of course you have more of a situation like this here the shape will be parabolic there the shape will not be parabolic and finally we have what we call a catenary that is a situation where the cable hangs under its own weight, such as telephone cables or high power voltage cables. They simply hang under their own weight and because of that, the shape is also not parabolic. We'll see later that we can probably approximate in certain situations parabolic shapes and the answers will not be that different, but it's important that we we'll learn how to deal with it in the non-parabolic case as well. So those are the four situations we're going to look at in this section. We're going to start off with concentrated loads, but we'll make sure we cover every one of these cases so that you'll be ready and you'll understand how to deal with cables and forces on cables.